Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, July 17, 2016. It is Sunday and our discussion today is going to be on overflowing. In Joshua 14 through 17, and the water below that point flowed on the Jordan until the riverbed was empty. Then all the people crossed at the spot where the river was close to the city of Jericho. And the priests were to carry the arks, stood on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan and waited for all the people to pass by. Psalms 119.65, The Lord, I am overflowing with your blessings just as you promised. In Luke 6.38, For if you give, you will get. Your gift will return to you in full and overflowing measure, pressed down, shaken together, to make room for more, and running over. Whatever measure you use to give, large or small, will be used to measure what is given back to you. In Ephesians 1, 7 through 8, so overflowing is his kindness toward us that he took away all our sins through the blood of his Son, by whom we are saved, and he has shower, showered down upon us the richness of his grace for how well he understands us and knows what is best for us at all times. What I'm getting here, God provided dry ground when the Israelites crossed over the Red Sea and the Jordan, which were both overflowing with water, and they walked on dry land. The blessings of God are overflowing His promise. Your free gift from God is an overflowing measure, and it is running over. Whatever measure you use to give will be used to measure what is to be given back to you. His love for the world is overflowing enough for him to give his all through his Son, Jesus Christ, whose blood had freed us from sin. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.